Hello Year 7, we're at the end of our topic today. This is the last section of new work for this topic of measurement and it is on mass and temperature. The basic unit for mass is the kilogram. One litre of water has a mass that is very close to one kilogram. So the following diagram can be used to convert between units of mass. So the good thing about this is that they're all thousands. So we did one of these kind of diagrams early in the topic where we were converting between units of length and we had tens and hundreds and thousands. But for mass, they're always thousands. And as you're going from a big unit to a smaller unit, you times by a thousand. And from small units to bigger units, you divide by a thousand. So we're going to be using that to help us convert things. The common unit for temperature is degrees Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius. So the C, this C is the symbol for Celsius. So that there reads as zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water. So water will freeze once it hits zero degrees. And 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point. That is when water will boil. So we're going to start out with a few conversions. Example number one, convert to the units shown in the brackets. So we want to convert 2.47 kilograms to grams. So we're starting with a kilogram. We want to get to grams, so follow the arrow, which means I need to times by 1,000. So the working out that we were doing at the beginning of the topic, we're going to do the same kind of thing. So I start with my number, 2.47, and I'm going to times that by 1,000. So that means jumping the decimal point over three places. So one, two, and I need a zero for the third jump, which would be two, four, seven, zero grams. Let's try part B. We have 170,000 kilograms that I want to change to tons. So kilograms are here again, but this time I want to go to tons. So I'm following the arrow that direction, which means I'm dividing by a thousand. So I start with my very large number, 170,000, and I divide by 1,000. Now, dividing by 1,000 is going to cross off these three zeros, which gives me 170 tons. Now, if you're not so confident in jumping decimal points around, remember that you can use your calculator for these because it's more important that you know how to convert them rather than being able to convert them in your head. So using your cal calculator is fine here. So question number two, arrange the following measurements from smallest to largest. Now this is tricky to do when they all have different units. So we have 1.7 kilograms, 980 grams, 0.3 tons, and 50,000 milligrams. So what we wanna do is we wanna pick one unit to change them all into that so that we can compare them. So I might choose grams. So let's start with this first one here, 1.7 kilograms. If I want to change that into grams, kilograms to grams, I want to times it by 1,000. So over here on the side, I'm going to go 1.7 times 1,000, and that is equal to 1,700 grams. Now I'm going to take the second one, 980 grams. Ooh, that's already in grams. I don't have to convert that one. So let's leave that, 980 grams. The next one, 0 0.3 tons. Okay, changing tons to grams, I have to times by 1,000 and times by 1,000 again. So I had 0 0.3 times 1,000 times 1,000. That makes, that's six jumps we've got to do there. So it's going to be three with one, two, three, four, five zeros. And the last one, five, 50, sorry, thousand milligrams. 
So we're at milligrams and we want to go to grams. So we want to divide that by 1000. So 50,000 divide by 1000. That's going to take off those three zeros, which is 50 grams. Okay, now that they are all in grams, these are the numbers here that I'm trying to compare. I want to put them in order from smallest to largest, but I want to write them in the, in the form that they were when we started the question. So the smallest one that I've highlighted in yellow over here is the 50 grams. But the 50 grams in the question was the 50,000 milligrams. So that's going to be my first one. The next biggest one is the 980 grams. So that one we hadn't changed, so that stays the same. The third biggest one is the 1,700 grams, which is my 1.7 kilograms. And that means that the biggest one is the 0 0.3 tons. You do need to rewrite them, don't just number them. Write the question out like I have done, please. Okay, so you'll have some questions like that to practice in exercise 13 and you'll be finishing pages 42 to 45 and then you'll be finished the work from this topic and ready for revision.